There are also medical uses of enzymes themselves, not just um, compounds that inhibit enzyme activity. Enzymes are very useful in diagnosing some diseases. This is because when a certain type of tissue is damaged, it can cause enzymes to spill into the bloodstream. And so you see enzymes in the blood that are not normally present, or they're present at abnormal levels. There are lots of enzymes present in your blood, but some enzymes are not normally present there. And so there are several diseases that are marked by abnormal <coughs> enzyme activity. So that's how they can take a blood test and say, you know, we think you had a heart attack because there's enzymes in your blood that, that shouldn't be there. Enzymes can also be used to treat diseases. Um, TPA stands for Tissue Plasminogen Activator. And this can promote the dissolution of blood clots. So this can be useful during a heart attack because generally there's a blood clot involved and the administration of TPA can help your body to dissolve that and minimize the damage caused by it. Enzymes are also used in uh, clinical lab chemical analysis. So, you know, they take a sample of your blood. Well, what do they do with it? They measure different chemicals that are in your blood. Some of the chemicals are difficult to measure. Uh, urea, there's no, oh, I'm putting the wrong thing here, urea, there's not a simple test for urea. So they can use an enzyme. They use the enzyme urease, which converts the urea to ammonia. It's very easy to measure the amount of ammonia in the blood. And this is commonly referred to as the BUN test, B-U-N, for blood urea nitrogen. So they're finding the level of urea by using an enzyme to convert it to something that's easier to measure. And that's a pretty common technique as well.